Okay, in this video I'm going to set up Google Cloud Print on my Kodak printer. Now in my case here I have a Kodak ESP Office 6150 all-in-one printer. But this would work on pretty much any Kodak printer. Kodak recently enabled Google Cloud Print on its entire printer line, which makes things a little more convenient because you can actually print from a phone, a tablet, or a Linux computer. And we're going to see the ins and outs of this and, and what, is, what is entailed to set it up and how it works after it's set up. This option was available on some HP printers. Usually there are the E printers on the HP line. But like I said, Kodak enabled it on all of their printers and all of the printers that they sell currently have it already enabled. Now right now I have the Kodak Home Center brought up on my computer. And this pretty much enables you to do scanning, printing pictures, things of that nature. Basically, it's a piece of software that's a hub for anything that deals with your printer. So I'm going to go down here to Cloud Printing Setup. I'm going to click on that. And it brings up a little dialog here. It says Printer Tools, and then in front of that, it brings up a window that says Cloud Printing Setup. Your printer is not enabled for cloud printing. Learn about using Cloud Printing Proxy. Now, it's already checked here in the checkbox, install the cloud printing proxy. Of course, I want to do that because I want to set up Google Cloud Print. So I'm going to click on OK here. Now, it brings up Opera here, which I don't really know why it brings up Opera, but because uh, Opera is not my default browser, but that's all right. Now, it brings up Cloud Printing Setup. How do I set up my all-in-one printer for cloud printing using Google Cloud Print and Kodak Email Print Service? Now what I want to do here is I want to find my printer here and it's on the secondary list here. It's the ESP Office 6150. So I'm going to click on this here. And it says cloud printing setup for printers not cloud ready. How do I set up cloud printing for a printer that is not cloud ready? It says requirements for setting up cloud printing. Kodak all-in-one printer. Check. I've got that. A computer with an internet connection. Check. I've got that too and a Google account if necessary. Obviously, I have a Google account, so I'm all set for this process here. It says this procedure explains how to set up your classic printer, not cloud ready, for cloud printing. After you set up the cloud printing service, you will be able to print from your smartphone, tablet, or any computer that is connected to the internet. So that's cool, that's why I'm doing this. Now it says important. The computer must be powered on and connected to the internet to receive jobs from the cloud printing service and then send them to the connected printer. Now it wants me to download and install this Kodak cloud printing software connector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the link here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my printer up here which is the ESP6150 and it wants me to go to this cloud printing software connector. Now I'm running Windows on this machine, but uh, it also works on Mac computers. So I'm going to click on here where it says Kodak cloud printing software connector for Windows operating systems. Okay, it says Kodak cloud printing software connector Windows operating systems. With this software you can set up your classic printer to enable cloud printing which allows you to print from anywhere with your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Now it wants me to actually download and install this exe file. And if history tells me anything, my screencasting software does not play well with downloading and installing programs. So I'm going to end the screencast here. I'm going to install this Kodak cloud printing software connector. And then I will pick back up once that's installed and start my screencast again. So I'll see you on the other side of that. Okay, that was a quick and painless process to download and install that. And I'm greeted with two windows here, one of which is my Chrome window here, where it says Kodak Cloud Software Connector, and the other of which is the Kodak Software Connector Install Wizard completed. So the install has completed. I'm just going to hit Finish here, and I'm going to go over here to my Chrome browser here where I have the Kodak Cloud Software Connector window that has popped up. Okay, it says Kodak Cloud Software Connector lets you print email and attachments from anywhere using any email account. 
Important, you will need to sign in with a Google account so you can print from anywhere. I'm going to sign in with my Google account here and then I'll see you on the other side of that. Okay, my next dialog box here says register for Kodak Email Print Service. Kodak Email Print Service lets you print emails and attachments from anywhere. Do you want to get an email address for your Kodak printer? Of course I would. I'm going to click yes. And right now I have this Kodak Cloud Software Connector Cloud Software Tools and it looks like the configuration process is going on here. Uh, Kodak Email Print Service not configured. Kodak Email Print Service lets you send emails, attachments. Okay, I already read that. I'm going to click on Get Email Address for Kodak Printer here. Okay, I already signed into my Google account but it wants me to sign in again so let's sign in again. Okay, so I signed in with my Google account again, and what I have here is a Google slash Kodak window here that says Kodak Email Print Service is requesting permission to manage your printers. I will allow access to do this. And I'm met with another window here. Um, it generated a random email address for me. It's uh, letters and numbers. doesn't make any sense. And uh, you can change it if you want, but you can't change it to anything customized. You can only use something randomly generated from Kodak. And I have it blacked out here so you cannot actually see it. So I'm going to enable this email address. Now this email address has now been, if I enable it, will be assigned to my printer. And it will enable me to email documents and emails to the email address. And from what I understand, it will automatically print those emails that are sent to this Kodak ePrint.com email address. So I'm going to enable this right now, and that basically assigns the email address and links it up to the printer that I have. Okay, so I actually enabled this, and my printer printed out a confirmation here that says, you can't see it because I'm still doing the screen casting, but I'll quickly read it to you. It says, now you have the power to print from anywhere. Congratulations, your Kodak email print service has been successfully configured. It gives my email address here, and it says, how does Kodak email print work? With Kodak email print, you can send photos and documents to your home Kodak all-in-one printer from anywhere in the world. Whether you're using your laptop, your smartphone, or tablet, it's a whole new way to print, so get started now. Who can use your Kodak email print? By default, anyone can print to your printer using this email address. If you would like to control who can send emails to your printer, simply log in to your Kodak email print account at www.kodakeprint.com and create a list of authorized users. Want to learn more about Kodak email print and Google Cloud Print? Visit kodak.com slash go slash cloud printing and then it gives me a support URL too. So everything's set up and ready to go, so I should be able to use Google Cloud Print. Now the question in my mind now is, do I have to have my Windows computer on at all times in order to use this service, or can I actually print to the device as a standalone printer? So far I'm thinking I have to have a Windows computer on at the same time, which is somewhat of a drawback, but let's see how this works out. Now on my desktop here, I have a new icon. It says Kodak Cloud Software Connector. I'm going to click on that and see what it brings up. Now in order to set up the Google Cloud Print, I think I'm going to have to enable it on my browser here. So what I'm going to have to do is go up to Tools here and go down to Options, I believe. And I'm going to go to Under the Hood over here. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says Google Cloud Print. Google Cloud Print lets you access this computer's printers from anywhere. Sign in to enable. I'm going to sign in to Google Cloud Print here. And I'm going to finish the printer registration here. Okay, it says thanks, you're ready to go. Your printers are now registered with Google Cloud Print. I'm going to try to print from my cell phone onto my Google Cloud Print printer. Okay, so I'm up here at my printer, and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and print from a couple of sources, first of which being my Atrix, my Motorola Atrix cell phone. Now, what I have found out with just playing around with it just before I started filming here is that it won't work from an app. So it won't work from the Mail app, even though it's a Gmail app. It's a Google app. 
and this is Google Cloud Print, so it's all within their ecosystem there. But uh, it won't, you won't be able to print from an app, but you will be able to print from the web-based email on the phone itself. So let me show you the phone here. And right here I have an email brought up where I actually took a picture of a lizard. A tiny, tiny, tiny little lizard in somebody's swimming pool. So on the screen here you have the picture here and you have a couple of options here. Under the picture it says print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this print link here and it brings me to Google Cloud Print. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Kodak ESP printer here, the third one down and I get a couple of options here uh, to collate uh, black and white, how many copies, duplex, whatnot. I want to make this in color and so I'm going to click color here. Oh, maybe I can't do color here, let's see. There we go. One copy and portrait orientation. So that sounds good. I'm just going to go to print now and let's see how quickly it takes for this to print. Creating new print job, print job added, and it looks like the printer is starting to print. There we go, picture of a lizard here. And that lizard was about, I don't know, maybe an inch long. Very tiny, tiny little, little lizard in somebody's pool. So it printed out pretty well, it printed out very fast, a far cry from what it used to be when Google Cloud Print was first introduced. So that's pretty good. The next thing I'm gonna try is I'm actually going to try and print from my CR48 Chromebook. Okay, I know that I said that I would try and print from my Chromebook next. Unfortunately, it didn't work. And I probably should have learned from my previous attempt at Google Cloud Print that it's just not quite there yet. But I got my hopes up because obviously Kodak updated their printers that you could use Google Cloud Print with it. When I attempted to print from my Chromebook to my Kodak printer, nothing happened and I pulled up about three different things to print up and nothing happened. So I shut down the Kodak printer and brought it back up again and still nothing happened. So then I shut down my computer, my PC build that I set up the cloud print on and restarted it because in the past I found that if I restart the Windows printer that's connected to the printer for the Google Cloud Print it usually um, upon startup prints everything again did not print this time so maybe four hours later maybe eight hours later it will print I don't know but uh, at this time I'm gonna give up on the Google Cloud print for now and hope for a better solution in the future so what I'm gonna leave you with here is a page of Google Cloud print beta and its apps that work with Google Cloud print now I'm gonna leave a link in the notes below if you want to look at this in depth on your own but I'm just gonna go over it right now now there's a couple of ways that you can print with Google Cloud print in this video I showed you that you can print pictures from an Android powered phone I was not able to print an actual email from an Android powered phone I was however able to send an email to my Kodak email address that was given to me and it will print right away as long as your Windows computer is attached to your Kodak printer via wireless or a wired connection. So in other words the Windows computer has to be on when you want to print. So if I was out on the road and I wanted to print something on my Android phone I'd have to have my Windows PC up and running at my house in order for the print job to go through, which is a little cumbersome. But we're at the early stages of this and hopefully in the future I'll be able to buy a printer that I will just be able to communicate with no matter what without having to have a computer attached to it. So we can print pictures from a phone and I can print an email by sending it to the Kodak email address. Anything beyond that you're going to need these special things here, which it says apps at work. Now it says on my Chromebook in the Chrome browser here, it should work. Well, it didn't work for me. 
So that's unfortunate. Now on your Android device, it'll work with Google Docs. Cloud Print Beta, which Cloud Print is an Android application that allows you to print files off your Android device, including emails and attachments, text messages, contacts, web pages, documents, and more. Print Share Mobile Print. Mobile Print is an Android application that supports several forms of printing, including Google Cloud Print. It can print pictures, web pages, calendar events, contacts, text messages, emails, Google Docs, and other files. I would try some of these, but at this point, I feel a little bit discouraged with Google Cloud Print, and I've sunk a lot of time with this video and the previous video. If you watch my video number 200, you'll know that my first Google Cloud Print experience, I wasn't too happy with it, and I really was one of the my lesser favorite videos that I made. So, like I said, I'm not really going to invest too much more time in this at this time. I'm just going to, you know, like I said, go over these things really quickly with you, and. Uh, you know, maybe at a later date I'll revisit it. Hopefully it'll come along a little bit further than it did in the past nine months. Uh, the next thing is Cloud Printer. Cloud Printer is an add-on to the Mozilla Firefox mobile browser. If you use Firefox on your mobile phone, Cloud Printer allows you to print web pages as you surf. Then we got Easy Print here. Easy Print is an Android application that allows you to manage your printers and print jobs and print documents and emails. And then on your iOS device, you have Print Central Pro. Print Central Pro is an iOS application that allows you to print to a number of services, including Google Cloud Print. Print Central allows you to print emails and attachments, contacts, web pages, text messages, and more. And then here it says on any mobile device, you have mobile Google Apps. If you access Gmail or Google Docs through your phone's browser, you can print any document email, spreadsheet, or other docs file through Google Cloud Print. Using the new Print to Docs feature, you can also print any file you wish to your docs account for safekeeping made by Google. The next thing here is the web. On any web page, if you see a print button with a Google Cloud Print logo, you can print without leaving your browser. And then Kodak Email Print. Send emails and attachments to your Kodak all-in-one printer from anywhere using an email-capable web-connected device. That's what I have, and that's what I set up here. And then finally, on your Mac or Windows PC, the Chrome Web Store, you have the Google Cloud Print extension. Then you have Cloud Printer. Cloud Printer allows you to print from any application on your Mac, Leopard and up, through the regular Mac print menu. And then again, the web here on any web page, if you see a print button with the Google Cloud Print logo, you can print without leaving your browser. So that's Google Cloud Print in a nutshell. Again, it's a beta product, so you get beta results. Unfortunately, I won't be using it too much because really I don't print a lot. I do print for my work, and it would have been handy, it would have been useful to have an option where I could print easily from a Linux computer, uh, print easily from my phone. It's not so easy, but it is an option for me if I do want to use it. Hopefully it does get better sometime down the line. And again, my dream for it would be that I could just have a printer that didn't have to be connected to any computer that I could print to with any device, whether it be my phone, whether it be a tablet, or whether it be a Linux computer, whether I'm on my network at my house or I'm away from my house. That would be the perfect printing solution for me. But I guess I'm just going to have to wait. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.